An I-Team exclusive, it's the first time we are seeing body camera video from the sheriff's office, which recorded a confrontation involving two Jacksonville City Council members and police during a traffic stop. It all began when Councilman Reggie Gaffney was pulled over for driving a car that had a license plate which he had reported stolen. At one point, the body camera video shows Councilwoman Katrina Brown pulling up and complaining that Gaffney was being racially profiled. The sheriff's office denies that allegation and says the officers involved were only doing their job. Channel 4's Jim Pickett joining us from the newsroom after speaking with Councilman Gaffney and as more of that police body cam video, which you will only see on 4. Jim? You know, this is the first time we are seeing body cam video recorded by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And I know this is a bit blurry, and there's a reason for that. It's not from JSO. Instead, it was recorded from a monitor and then given to me by a source. But what it shows is a confrontation between two Jacksonville City Council members and police during a traffic stop. This is Councilman Reggie Gaffney when he was stopped on the north side Monday night. Several police officers pulled him over for driving with a stolen license plate. It's an action police tell us is routine. When he got out of the car, Gaffney asked the officer, do you know who I am? He then says he knows nothing about a stolen plate. I don't know if I report a stolen This is a police report we just received from JSO about the traffic stop. All it says is when the officer ran his tag, it shows it was reported stolen by Gaffney in March of 2016 when he started receiving tickets from red light cameras. I just spoke with Gaffney on the phone. He says he has no idea why he was being pulled over and was scared to death. But let me tell you what was scared, Jim. Now I feel like most uh, Afro-Americans feel. I was intimidated as anybody else. I got two police stopping me for no reason in my mind. And the first thing they said is, you driving with a stolen tag. While he was being questioned during that stop, another city council member pulls up, Katrina Brown. The video shows her arguing with police, claiming the stop was all racial profiling. Well, she came up later. She wasn't with me. She was in her own car. And she happened to, uh, uh, I think she said she noticed that they were following me because we all live on the north side of town, and she saw it, and she felt like, that's what she felt like, and I'm not going to respond on what she said. Police in this case tell Gaffney they were not profiling him, just doing routine checks. His tag came back stolen. They showed Gaffney the report, and he admits he forgot about filing the report. Gaffney tells us he's not filed a complaint about this stop. He says it was something he will never forget and understands why many on the north side are afraid of police. I can see why a lot of black is afraid of police. I mean, when, I mean, when we get stopped, the first uh, thing come to our mind is either what we done did or why they pulling on us and, and why they are so aggressive. You know, we also contacted the sheriff's office, of course, and in a statement, they told us that the official footage of that traffic stop will be reviewed to determine whether all the actions of the officers conform to their policies and procedures. Tom? Jim, did Councilman Gaffney explain to you why he was still driving on this stolen license plate after he reported it stolen a year ago? Well, he forgot that he had actually reported it stolen, and he was telling officers, and you can kind of hear it in their confrontation there, that they was found, but he never reported it. And that was the problem. Of course, we're going to have much more on this later tonight at 10.